Hello everyone. Welcome to Farm Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. This is my first Let's Play. And of course, I start recording and look. It's raining. Nice thunderstorm. Actually, I do love thunderstorms. In real life, too, I love watching them roll and also on my porch. It's a covered porch. Be able to watch the storm roll in, it's rain. So I do like a thunderstorm, but this kind of throws a wrench in some of my plans for today. So I guess we will start by showing you some of my equipment. We'll run around the farm here. And there's the horse pen. Over here we got a 6788. Good old International 2 plus 2. The long nose monster itself. The John Deere grain drill. John Deere 7000 corn planter. Got the Wilson trailer. Oh, and then over here, we got a Meyer chopper box. Looks pretty good. Fortunately, I don't have a bull bind uh, chopper that works. I had one and I could not get it to work for whatever reason. Right, let's go inside the shop here. Just a couple things in here, I believe. On oh, this one, I guess it's the water tank that I barely ever use. Let's go back out here. Got a few wagons over here. Small square uh, kicker wagons. Oh, I need to sell that seat cart. Uh, one hay wagon. Some hay equipment. Roller. There's my small square baler. Here we got the case trident with a nurse cart right here next to it. That's actually lease. I'm gonna use it here to spray some soybeans here soon. Then probably return it. Here we got uh, the old Mac. This is the Mac that comes on the map when you're starting vehicles. And then I gave it this uh, double, double hopper. Right over here, we got our grain bins. This one, I already got 137,000 liters of wheat. This one is empty. I purchased the other farm just down the road, put a grain bin up there, and that has that has a bit of uh, oats in there. There, let's go over here. Over here, we got a 4440 with a mixer wagon. This is going to be one of the first things I get rid of this mixer and upgrade to a larger one. And the fermenting silo here has 41,000 liters. Almost 42,000 liters of silage. Haylage. Got a cornfield, so I'm going to be packing this full here soon. For my cows. Here is the young cattle barn. We have about 20, 20 young cattle here. But ten of them are still calves. The other ten are heifers. They're close to freshening, so then they will come over here to the freestyle barn. This freestyle barn. I have a hundred head of cows. Hundred head of Holsteins. And one is currently escaping. What are you doing outside your, your pen? Huh? Huh? Yep, typical cow, it doesn't care. 
You know, I got a hundred of them in here. So I got to feed them pretty regularly. That's why I already need a bigger mixer. Feeding them about twice a day. And then here I got... Well, shoot, 20... 20 Angus cows. I still got a little ways to go before they're ready to be sold. Oh. Then crop rise. I harvested most of my crops. I got quite a few acres of soybeans to do here soon. And way down in the distance, there's, oh, I think about 10 acres of corn. That's the corn I'll be chopping. So yeah, I was planning on going and cutting some of alpha, then drying it and raking it, and then I was probably gonna small square it and sell it. But first, we gotta get this rain to stop. So in the meantime, we might as well run a load of feed to the cows with the old trusty 4440. First we'll run some silage in here. I usually go about half full. Seems to be a good mixing ratio. There we go. Now let's get it out of A range. There we'll go C. So I do it, I pull it around here. Oh, you know what? We should grind some bales first. Let's let's do some bale grinding. I only got one <laughs> one hay bale left. Well, this is actually a pile of alpha that I gotta get rid of too, because I did not realize that I cannot use it in my TMR built into the map. Over here, there is a spot to like to put hay. See here, right over here, and then just accept the alfalfa. But that's the only thing that accepts alfalfa, unfortunately. It, my mixer does not accept the alfalfa. Oh, now let's use. I'm gonna use the 4440 let's unhook this quick. Fire it up. Then we're gonna hook it onto our bail buster. Put it in reverse. Cause I I like to have it loose and then I just use the loader. I have a more control, I feel like, over, over how much hay I actually put in the mixer. Alright, let's unfold this thing. Let's test my backup skills. Get it in the bay here. Oops, come on. Come on, there we go. We'll lower this down a bit. And then. There we go. Look at that spinning. Alright. Let's go get that bail. Hmm. 
But yeah, I just, I, I like grinding my bales. Um, that way I can simply just put the bucket on the end. Then I can be a little more precise on what I put into the mixer. grinding that bale down. We'll get a couple round bales here. Now let's go. Oops. We'll grind these next. Once this gets done grinding that bale, <sighs> let's back it up a little bit further. Okay, it's somewhere back. One in the back here. It is kind of realistic how long it actually takes to grind these bales. Uh, I actually worked on a real life dairy farm for a while, about 10 years ago or so, and they had a bale buster like this. It, it took, a, took a couple minutes to grind the bales, not too bad. This is probably pretty realistic. Oh look, I stuck it in the wall. That's not so great of me. There we go. It looks better that way. <clears throat> All right, let's pull this thing out. Also stick it in the next bay. And for this hay, this hay buster mod, it's really, really looks good. They really did a good job making this. Really like using it. It looks good. It all doesn't look cheap or like it's missing a bunch of things or not nice textures on it. it looks really good. Alright, once again let's fire it up. bales on the bottom here. There we go. Round around it goes. It's getting munched. I wonder if I could just stick these two right in there, right now. Whoa. Whoa. Look it up. Oh, there we go. Sure enough. Let's hope they all stay in there. Oh boy, stay in. Keep going. There we go. Oh, hmm. They're backing up a little bit. There we go. That sounds better. A little bit of the haze 
falling through the wall into the, my straw bin, but... My straw bay, that's alright. Well, looking at the weather forecast, it looks like this rain's gonna be stopping around noon. And it's 11.05 right now. So that means we should be able to finish grinding this bale. There we go. Let's get it out of the way. Let's fold it up. But this should give us time to feed the cows now. Which is good. It's good to keep the cows fed. Happy cows produce a lot more milk than hungry cows. That's what the saying is. Alright, let's quick unhook this. The hose is PTO. Yikes. There we go. I'll quick hook back up to the mixer. <laughs> My far too small mixer. But I can do this. Back this up nice and straight, huh? Whoa. Where am I going? There we go. Alright, let's hook this up. There, that's much better. There we go. A little far, I suppose. A little too far. Backing up. Thank goodness it's farm sim. Our life. Alright, I'll put it about here. Run over to our New Holland TS 110. Let's drop the forks right in here. Like so. Why always got to switch the tractor to the loader and then finally to the bucket and then I can finally unhook something. There we go. Alright, let's get a bucket full of my grass hay first. Oops, I think I nicked the wall a little bit. I'm gonna be careful. There we go. I'm gonna scoop of that in there. Oh, why is my mixing ratio at? All right. Oops, put in reverse, you dummy. Probably at least another full scoop, at least. Oh, come on. I have a fan attack. CSL Elite steering wheel. And sometimes when I turn the steering wheel, as you one handed in Farming Simulator, I will hit the little joystick that's on it. And when I do that, it switches me to a, another tractor. Basically, it's the tab, X at the tab button. So, yeah, that's. That's sometimes fun. I have done that so often. You honestly would think right now I would be overdoing something like that. But yet, here we are. Oh, I should, uh, I guess mention this, that 
if you are a subscriber to my channel, or you have been a subscriber to my channel, this is something completely different. Normally I do uh, farm toy reviews. And I like uh, making some stop motion videos, usually farm related stop motion videos. And I. And if you subscribe to see that content, I still plan on doing that. Just, I figured I needed some way to help give you guys more content to watch. And this is the way I can do that. One, I can't, I can't keep buying new toys as much as I would love to. A bunch of my kids would love that I do that. It's just not financially feasible. I still have more toy videos coming out, toy reviews. I'll still get them. I'll still get more toys. Just, I need to slow up a little bit. And stop motion videos, they are so time, time consuming. It's... It's a lot of work making a, just a simple five minute stop motion video. So I was trying to think of what I could do to give you more content on my site and I came up with this. Play Farming Simulator. I, I enjoy playing it anyway so I might as well share it with you guys. And it's still farm related. And technically a farm toy, I would I would say. So that is why there is now Let's Play videos for Farm Simulator 22 on my channel. My plan is to probably try put out so I, I would like to think three Farming Simulator videos a week and then try and uh, and then try to get maybe at least one or two review and slash stops motion videos out as well I don't need that full bucket in there That's good enough. So yeah, so that's that's why you're starting to see Farm Simulator videos on my page, and hopefully you'll see a lot more of them coming up. Like I said, I want to do minimum, very minimum, two, even really three, three videos a week, Farming Simulator. And I'll try still do at least one toy review or stop motion video during during the week as well. That's kind of what I'm thinking with this. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm not going to say this at the end, but if you do, please please like and subscribe to my channel to see more content like this and actual farm tour review content all right got a full mixer here let's go feed the cows and yes i gotta extend that driveway out to over there don't know why i haven't done that yet to be honest with you There's one problem with this freestall barn mod is finding where to dump the feed because it seems to bounce around for whatever reason. Same spot twice, and it's not just sometimes this works backing up. It's not where you think it would be. You can't just pull in, get the trigger, and then drive to the other end. Which is kind of disappointing. Not kind of, it is. <laughs> but <laughs> I went through all the work of putting it here. Leveling off a spot, clearing some trees. 
that, I'm like, you know what? We'll just leave it. It looks good. It, it really visually is, looks nice. And see, I don't know where the trigger is. Oh, I'll back up and try to find it. This, this is kind of aggravating about this barn. Huh. No, I never noticed there were cameras up there before. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, there it is. See how this appeared? See that? It wasn't there when I drove through just a minute ago. And I reverse and it's there. I don't understand. That's alright. So other than that, I really like these, this freestyle bar. This risk to feed trigger was a little bit better. That's really the big thing. Alright. Oh, there, let's see. The total amount is that the cattle have now. Ah, it's still raining. Here, let's do let's do another load. You know, I won't make you guys suffer through another one. We'll do, we'll throw in a little time lapse right here. Ready and go. There, got a couple loads of TMR to my hungry milk and cows. And it looks like the sun has come out outside. I'm gonna drive the time scale back down to three because I want to make sure I got enough time to cut my alfalfa today and dry it and bail it. Alright, so here's the alfalfa field that I need cut. That's outside the farm here. And you see over there, I got a whole bunch of grass bales. That I actually did in the previous video, but I did not post the previous video. Because my sound was by far off. You honestly could barely hear me at talk at all over the sound of that 1586 right there. And I did not realize that until I was all done recording and I went to edit the video. So, yay me. And I think I got to figure it out now. Uh, let me know, guys. If Go down in the comments and let me know if you can't hear me well. And I will try to change things for future videos. Um... But we are getting about the end of this video. I don't, I don't really want to go much over that 20, maybe 30 minute mark of my videos. I just feel like that's a good, good raid. I know with some other YouTubers, that's kind of what they do. About 20, 30 minute videos. Um, and I, I kind of feel the same. You know what, let's fire this up. Let's at least take a round. 
and then we will call it a day on this video. I will say this. Come on, start up. There we go. They have an open station tractor on a disc mine. I feel isn't the greatest idea. Because I know in real life those things can chuck rocks. It feels kind of dangerous not having a cab with a disc mine. You know, this tractor actually does quite well pulling this hay bine around. It really, really does. Now we're getting some speed here. Run over a little bit of brush. There's this little whoops. Whoa, pay attention to where I'm going. There's my another soybean field. Nope, oh, it's cutting pretty good. I think we have a good good crop out here. So yeah. No, I must be getting around the 30 minute mark or so of my recording. Uh, you know, I I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this video. I I was a little nervous making one. But to be honest, I, I kind of having fun doing this. Recording and just talking to you guys. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Alright. About that at the end of the row. So stay tuned for my next video. Which I'll try to have out the day following this one. Where we will finish cutting and we will get bailing. Like I said, this is what I planned on doing today and not feeding cows. <laughs> but <laughs> when I started the game and started recording, and then it started raining, so. It is what it is. Kind of like real life. You can't, always, you can't predict the weather. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hey, if you have any suggestions or comments on what to make this video series better, please. Please let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. It will help. Let me know if you want to see more farming simulator content or not. Once again, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.